Hello and welcome back to our RC um, and continuing with the Mercedes tipper truck the 4151 um, so in this in this video guys I'm gonna be actually building the uh, electric actuator uh, then which is once done fit into this frame so yeah let's get on with it So well, guys, there are four, well actually five ball bearings in the pack, but in this section it says we only put three in here, so why that is, I don't know. That's that section done.
Hey guys, where we're up to so far. So the gearing is, is all in, in there. So next we've just got to add the, uh, the lifting gear to this shaft. Pretty much completed. It's a messy job though with the grease. I'll get the other one done guys and then get you back on.
Okay guys, uh, that's the ACU uh, O1 controller for the motor. Um, got the limit switches plugged in. Um, gonna be a bit of wiring sorting out. Um, so that's where we're up to. Next section is, is actually mounting it onto the, well, the motor into the bed. Uh, so we'll get on with that. Okay guys, um, I had to do a lot of this off camera, um, it was just a pain to get in there uh, and juggle about, so um, that's where we're up to at the minute. So the next thing is to sit it on top of the bed and then I'll have to sort the wires out because yes there's more wires. <coughs> um, so we'll get on with that, but that, that's the lifting mechanism fitted into the frame guys uh, obviously that won't move there so that'll be that's got to be secured to there and then this gets fitted in the frame and then we can fasten the whole bucket back onto the onto the truck uh, so yeah we'll get on with that okay guys going to be um, mounting the uh, tipper bed onto the truck, trying to get it all secured there and then start just getting the wiring uh, loomed in and back into this box. It has a splitter uh, for the battery power uh, and it also is, it's also got to go into the uh, MFC as well. Um, the problem being with the guys, this little unit called the AC1 that's the tipper controller um, that has to be learned but when you fasten it in uh, put the screws on the lid and fasten that in or before you even put the screws in you've got to get into a little uh, press a little button to get it into learn mode which is going to be extremely difficult from uh, I'm looking now um, but hey, we'll get that done we'll get on with it and we'll uh, take one step at a time Okay, let's get this done, guys. There is a lot uh, to deal with on this section. Don't 
don't know what you can see guys probably not a lot unfortunately <clears throat> hey guys this is probably the best shot i can give you of the uh of the bed it's uh, so big and catching on shelving so um if that's any better so the frame is located uh on the actual truck so just got to get some screws in got to get this um motor mounted low down well the, the gear gearbox low down and the shaft's got to go through there just getting one screw into one of the <coughs> brackets there guys just in case anything falls off Hold it there. Okay, guys, that's the bed uh, on the chassis. The shaft has gone through this motor, which lets it all hinge. So that's on there. So what I've got to do now is fasten this, fasten it all down via these these points here. I don't know how much you can see because it's not a brilliant angle. Same on the other side, and get these shock absorbers, uh, and then it will be sorting the wiring out, which is a yeah, the task. So um, we will get on with that. You guys, all the screws are secured. Um, the next thing is I've got to get this bucket higher now, um, so I can get into the wire and box there and um, start doing the uh, wiring back to the cab. Okay guys, it's all mounted. I've just put a temporary battery on the ACU controller for the tipper bed. Uh, and just using the manual switch, all the wiring still got to be done. But for now, just to give it a test. Uh, here we go. It's a bit noisy though. Might quieten down as the grease wears in. Okay, guys, um, that's it for this video. Um, all the wiring has got to be put in, uh, well, loomed in. Uh, there's other bits and pieces to do, nearly there. Uh, apologize for all the videos guys uh, it's not something I intended to do it's just a situation and actually getting time to do it in the weather etc etc so not many more to come now uh, before this is finished so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the new year